what it do y'all and welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm very very excited to bring you guys another video on my must have sex and my must have must gag series this is my series i created inspired by samantha march's will i buy it series i always have her series and the community playlist linked down below as well as all the instagram pages i follow to get all this makeup knowledge and lastly but certainly not least i always have all of the items listed and linked down below if you shop through any of those links down there i would appreciate it that would probably give me a small commission depending on if it's affiliated or not nine times out of ten they really are and then otherwise i just appreciate you being here watching the video with me, chatting with me about all of the new makeup releases because there's always something coming out and I'm always so intrigued to just talk to you guys about it and see your opinions because I feel like that you guys have such great opinions and I love to hear them. So that's pretty much that. I did not record this look, but like I said, and I believe the last video that you guys have seen, I am now taking the time to really hone in on my thoughts and opinions about a lot of makeup. So this is a lot of stuff that I have featured or that they are Project Pam. I will do my absolute best. Check out down below in the description box as long as I have room. It will be there. If not, check out my pinned comment. I will have it there. So just, just just wait on it okay I'm pretty sure I will have everything lined up um, and yeah we'll see how it goes so I think that's it did I receive any makeup this week I'm trying to remember I really don't know oh I received my Beautylish order and I'm really really excited about the couple of things that I picked up I've already started to test them out receive them um, so the VIB sale has been going on now for what two days for Rouge members I made my one order online that had three items uh, and I'm pretty confident that I'm actually not going to be picking up anything else which is very exciting because uh, generally in past years I'm buying like four or five times but I've been really good at like really getting what I need and what I want um, and as I said in my pinned comment no as I said in my community post um, I wasn't able to use my gift card my hundred dollar gift card but what I will be doing is actually using that along with the gift card that I got from Beautylish I'm actually gonna be using those in the next couple of months to get two more fragrances that I really really want to bring into my collection and that way I won't really have to pay anything on those fragrances because all of them are expensive and that would just be a better deal than waiting and getting 20% off so those are my plans and what I will probably do is just do one collective haul uh, towards the end of this year showcasing some of these newer things that I've gotten from Beautylish, Sephora, etc. So just stay tuned for that. Otherwise I did make a run at Ulta and I did do like a vlog-ish thing. I think I vlogged that yes I did I know I did so I'm aiming to get that up this week but who knows you guys now know how busy I am so <laughs> I have it I've started to send the stuff to my computer and it takes a little while because my phone is Apple product my computer is a HP product but once I get them both talking and agreeing that my products need to move from one place to the next I will edit it and I will get it up for you guys but I'm aiming to get that up this week for you all and that's it pretty much um this week is gonna hopefully be pretty chill i am done with exams so yeah anyway stop blabbering on blake let's scoot over and let's talk about the makeup Alrighty, so I feel like there's still quite a bit of things to talk about this week and i've honestly been just preoccupied so I haven't really been like fully invested in watching what's going on on Instagram but I did clean up my little folder that I keep all of my saved products in so let's just get started first Maybelline has come out with a new range this range is their green edition butter cream high pigment bullet lipstick and this collection or range is provided with 95% recycled plastic for the packaging and I have seen one youtuber kind of talk about this range and I must say I kind of agree with her the issue isn't that you know you guys are bringing us better more efficient more 
earth friendly packaging. No, the issue is you created a whole nother line to do that instead of just doing it with your main line. Are there shades that may be cute? Yes, but I have quite a few lip products. I'm happy with the collection that I have and I actually would love to kind of pare it down some more by using up my products, of course. So this is not going to be something that I'm interested in. I am going to easily pass. Something else that I'm going to easily pass from is the ColourPop Not a Box of Chocolates collection. Now, don't get me wrong. I actually did take the time to look at this because you guys know I have definitely been into my neutrals lately. I feel like this look is very neutral with just a splash of pink on my lid. The issue I have with this particular palette is I do not think that it's person of color friendly. I feel like a lot of these shades are very, very light. There's not a lot of depth in this palette. And so I would hate to get something like this that I believe is like a 16 pan eyeshadow palette just to only be able to use like four of them. That is just not my cup of tea. I just don't feel like that's useful at all. There are some other products in this collection such as lip lacquers and luxe lipsticks. And if I was a fan of ColourPop, I probably would honestly pick up a lot Lot of those lip products because those are in the color range that I prefer my lip products to be which is in the brownie nude range but like I said I'm not a huge fan of ColourPop I try absolutely to not buy and that'll be coming and very much apparent in my next post or and the next thing that I talk about but yeah really cute I think if you need products that are cheap affordable and have decent quality and sometimes can be like hit or miss yes I think ColourPop works for you just for me right now I have enough makeup that I really don't need any let's face it but I also prefer higher end and indie so this is just not something for me where is the other ColourPop let's just get that out the way so I don't forget it okay this is the Star Wars palette specifically it is featuring the C3PO palette. I say it slowly because I always mess it up. So yeah. Anyways, you have the palette and it's a nine pan. It is a nine pan neutral palette. And if you guys didn't know, I have two of the um, Mandalorian palettes. I have both of those palettes and I really do like them. I like them in the quality and the color scheme. And so this definitely made me pause because all of the other Star Wars palettes that they've created aren't in this nine pan kind of format. And what I'm going to say when it comes to this is this. It's a neutral palette, so you guys know I'll get use out of it. And it's a nine pan and it's in the same packaging. So I feel like I need it for the collector in me, but the realist in me, I don't really need this. So am I going to definitely pick it up? I'm not going to definitely pick it up, but if it's at Ulta's website and available when I do my like purge of my points in December then maybe but otherwise I'm not really checking for that at all there's another collaboration afoot this time it is with Lancome and Bear Brick I don't know who Bear Brick is or what it is but I think it's some form of fandom or IP I just genuinely don't know there do look to be quite a few beautiful shades in this range a lot of neutrals um, neutral browns and like mauvey shades or maybe they're just multiple of the same yeah there's only <laughs> There's only a few shades, so it looks like they just kind of have a whole bunch of bullets in the, the photos that I'm seeing. I think this is really, really cute. I would love to have it. Am I going to get it? Probably not. Um, these probably are just way too expensive for me, and I honestly don't even know what it is, so it wouldn't make any sense. Hemp's has come out with some holiday scents. They have a peppermint vanilla swirl, and they have the mini... Uh, moisturizer set that I talked about before and then they also have a body butter duo gift so I haven't smelled this vanilla swirl but I did go to Ulta and I have seen it in person Ulta also has a code going right now on hemp's products so maybe this would be a good time to pick up a couple of those to get them even cheaper that said I don't find a need for any form of peppermint scented lotion right now based on my perfume collection that's just not something that I need so I'm not going to go ahead and pick it up but I will say I've really enjoyed the two lotions or moisturizers that I do have from the brand um, definitely definitely I would recommend the brand especially if you have eczema prone skin at least my skin has not been affected at all and I've worn those quite often even multiple days back to back and still not had any irritation with my skin 
Flower Beauty is doing a collaboration with E.T. And I guess Drew Barrymore was in this movie. I didn't know that. I also don't particularly like E.T. So I pretty much blocked that out of my memory. Uh, but the palette looks Basic Betty. I mean, this looks honestly kind of worse than Basic Betty. I like the packaging. It's cute, but like, that's it. So yeah, easy pass for me. I don't have a lot of things from Flower Beauty. I know at one point they were really popping because they were in Ulta and people really had quick and easy access to them. I believe now they're only at Walmart. I don't even ever go to Walmart. It's not in my like wheelhouse of things to do. So I never really consider picking up Flower Beauty, to be honest. So yeah, there's that. There is a collaboration between Shein and Willy Wonka, it looks like. Uh, for me, this brand is not something that I want to support. Even worse than ColourPop, in my opinion. Just with the ethics that this brand has uh, with their company and all of that so none of this is something that i need uh but once again if this is something that is really catching your eye and if you can only afford she in or if you just really love willy wonka there you go there's a new brand to sephora and it is simi hayes beauty so they came out with quite a range of things they came out with lipstick bombs liquid blushes lip glosses blush duos lip bombs and a pack of stickers and then a tubing mascara these are all available right now so this would honestly be a good time to pick it up if you're like really really interested in something but you don't want to buy it for the price like i said we are currently in the vib sale that said none of the packaging is really killing me i think the blush duo would be the only thing that i would potentially pick up but none of the duos really look unique or innovative or just I need it and I do have quite a few blush cream blushes and you know it just doesn't no I just don't think I need it we'll see if there are reviews that people are like dying and falling over the place for this this formula then maybe but for right now I'm perfectly content without it something that I actually definitely did a double take I don't know if I'm gonna pick it up but this is from LH cosmetics and this is their reload palette this looks really really pretty pretty fall themed palette I'm looking at the swatches now the swatches don't look too good on the dark skin model in the sense that I don't see too too much depth I'm sure I could make it deeper adding a liner and then like smoking the liner out with one of these shadows and kind of manipulating things that way but I don't like to do that particularly and now that I see the swatches not in the palette I'm not really loving this palette overall color story wise it is a beautiful color story but I think it was just the whole package they were sending me the vibes the aesthetic and that's kind of what I was into and not necessarily the particular shadows so I'm pretty sure I just talked myself out of that one definitely going to keep my money Lisa Frank is doing a collaboration with Orly this lady is getting out she is just everywhere okay everywhere this is nothing that I need I was not a fan of her stuff when I was younger in the 90s I think it was because it just seemed too girly for me I am not a girly girl I am more of a tom girl tom girl <laughs> i am more of a tomboy that just likes wearing makeup okay that it is what it is that how i am um and so yeah this is just no i am not interested in this particular collection at all so something i am interested in i don't know if i'm gonna pick it up just because of some things but let's talk about it it is from good molecules and they are coming out with their own with their own sheer mineral sunscreen now this should be available uh, now at the time that you guys are watching it. It came available October 27th. My issue with this product is that it says minimal white cast sunscreen. Now it is quite hard to get a mineral sunscreen that isn't going to give you some form of white cast. Typically if you don't want a white cast you're going to have to go for a chemical based sunscreen which okay I get it. But why would you even like advertise that? Now I will say this. Good Molecules is definitely one of my favorite if not my absolute favorite affordable skincare range i have so many of their products and i've repurchased so many of their products their moisturizer has been on lock for me now i do have a new moisturizer that i'm going to be testing out just because i was really interested and there was a holiday kit and i was just in 
Ulta, so it just kind of jumped into my cart. But I definitely will be making another order soon, probably to get some more backups of my moisturizer, specifically from Good Molecules. And I would love to see if this becomes available at Ulta to maybe throw that in the cart too. I don't do a lot of backups. Let me just preface that. Specifically with my skincare, I just like to have one backup so that when I get to the bottom of the barrel, because I do always tend to wait until the very last drop of my skincare to then go get more skincare. I have something down in my drawers and I can go from there. Very similar to how I do my toothpaste, my deodorant, anything like that. So something that actually gave me pause again from Beauty Bay this time though is their neutral palette collection. They have the three they have the three different palettes in this kind of color scheme and I must say I think this is a beautiful color scheme beautiful color scheme these are more cooler toned neutrals and for that reason I am going to pass I think it is really really pretty and these do lean more mauvey pink and I do have mauvey pinks I have them in my collection so I don't need this and for me it when it comes to trying a new brand it really has to be something that puts me on my but for me to pick it up and right now none of those things are doing it for me make beauty is coming out with some skin mimic micro suede blushes but these are a matte powder blush so i guess they're just saying that it's more skin like than a typical like dry matte blush um has anybody tried this brand? I don't think I've seen anybody try this brand, review this brand, but they do have a really pretty orangey blush. You guys know I absolutely love orange blushes. Um, on this post, it's just saying coming soon. I don't know if it's available now, but I would love to hear what your thoughts are on this brand. If you've tried this brand, if you would like to see me try this brand, maybe not this year, but definitely I could put this on my like mental list to try next year. I feel like I have enough going on right now. I don't really need to bring in any new brands. Be Perfect and Stacey Marie are doing yet another collaboration and it looks like a big palette um i don't know if they have talked about what it is um i don't think i've seen any of the shadows and stuff without the black and white but they also look to be coming out with brushes which makes perfect sense but i don't know what they can do in this palette that they haven't done in the others i'm intrigued i'm interested We'll see what happens. I'm sure by next week we will see the full inside. Scott Barnes is coming out with a new collection. I feel like it's been a while since he's come out with a new collection. But then again, I only know one YouTuber that I follow that really follows his brand. And that is... Um... Britt Clark. Britt Clark is the only person I know who actually follows his brand because she actually really, really enjoys his brand. Um, but she hasn't been posting on YouTube because she is crazy busy. So um, nobody else has really informed me about it. But it looks like you have to get the whole collection together. And that gives you five palettes for $225. For me, this makes absolutely no sense for a consumer, unless you literally divvy this out to five different people in your family. And because I don't have anybody in my family that's interested in makeup nearly as much as me, and even close friends aren't nearly as interested in makeup as me, this is going to be a pass, um, and I'm just going to keep my money. Something else that I'm probably going to pass, this is way too expensive, it's too expensive for me to even talk about it, but here we are, is the Surratt Surreal Skin Foundation Wand. In this wand, you have primer foundation in one. There are 20 different shades, and it looks like it has like a brush applicator where maybe the foundation gets pumped out. I'm sure that Michelle Wong is going to be doing swatches, comparison, tutorial, foundation wear test, all of that with this. And yeah, I'm probably just going to leave it at watching her video and lusting maybe at this through her video. The shade range is not too cute. It's not cute at all for somebody that is of darker complexion. So yeah, easy pass on that. Revlon looks to be coming out with some new lipsticks. This is their Color Stay Suede Ink Lipsticks. Um, they're 15 shades, $10 and 
15 cents a piece i think these look fine is this something that i would be opposed to trying no but it also doesn't look like something that i'm overly intrigued by fashion fair cosmetics has come out with a new release and this uh, these are their lush blush duos so wasn't fashion fair the brand that like had all the controversy because they said they were black owned but weren't i'm pretty sure this is the brand um either way i mean some of the duos look cute specifically that orange and like brown one although i don't know what that's going to look like on somebody of my complexion i'm pretty sure i scrolled through though that specific product on sephora and the swatches weren't too cute um and what they did swatch on a darker skin was not a shade that i was interested in so i'm pretty sure that's going to be easy pass for me uma by sharon c has come out with a new range as well and in this range they have a little lipsticks, eyeshadow quads, blushes and bronzers, lip tints, lip oils and cheek stains and then floss gloss and lip balm products. Good gracious. So this is a huge new collection. I'm not intrigued. I know that this collection is available once again at Walmart. That's not a place that I shop and I'm just not intrigued at all. So easy pass there. I've now seen a Lime Crimes holiday collection and what little people know, I love my Lime Crime products. I don't have a lot, but I really enjoy the quality of the products that I do have. And they have a couple of things. They have some liners, some face gems. They have a lip trios and they have this quad this is a very interesting quad i would love to like try this out with my personal singles creating a quad seeing if i would even create looks with this because i don't know how i would feel about that green and that like um what is it like lavender that's not a lavender like periwinkle shade i don't know how i would feel about those two and then the blue i just this seems like a very interesting quad so i think i might try to like dupe it out with my collection and see what becomes of that the bomb is coming out with a new product and this is the first time i've heard about this brand in years and this is their fun guy eyeshadow palette it's going to be 27 dollars and 50 cents very very basic neutral palette don't get me wrong i love me some neutrals now but this is just nothing intriguing nothing interesting easy easy pass there it looks like there is a collaboration between the school for good and evil and makeup revolution and this is very interesting because the last time i heard about the school is good and evil i was heavily heavily involved with book booktube yeah booktube and i was hearing people talking about the first book like before it even came out and now i look up and there's a netflix movie about it and people are hating it people are loving it and then of course mega revolution had to get some money out of that action as well um I never did take the time to read the books. They are middle grade and I don't read a lot of middle grade. It really has to be a book that really, really is inspiring. Um, I literally read a handful of middle grade, middle grade because I just don't have... I, I'm a, I have a childish personality in like the best possible way, but I just can't read that type of material and it's also not written for me it's re written for middle school age kids so there's that but either way this collection is just not hitting it for me i love the perfumes the perfumes bottles alone that aesthetic and that vibe i am here for but everything else yeah no easy easy pass Glow by Auric is coming out with some new products for their holiday and this time they're not coming out with new eye duos. This time they're coming out more with their lip tints. So they have these lip balms for night and they're coming out with new colors in haze and ripe. And I think this is interesting. I kind of wish that she came out with something else maybe that I was more so interested in. I still do want to try her lashes, but I just can't justify buying literally just lashes from the website. I do have a nice little stash right now, a nice little stash, specifically with my Miamis. I went in on some version of the Miami Lily Lashes lately. I have like six <laughs> pairs, six pairs, and I work my pairs, okay? I put them in rotation and they're in rotation for some time. So anyways, long story short, this is not something that I want and it's not gonna make me go ahead and get the lashes like I want to from the brand.
So Sigma Beauty has also come out with their holiday kits and I don't think these kits are meant for somebody of my complexion. I've seen a couple of these kits showcased on Karen Harris's skin and they barely worked if they did. So these are not going to be something for me and although I do have friends that I could definitely gift these to, I like to gift things to my friends that I know work on me. Even if my friends are dark or lighter skin than me, I want it to work on me so that I know it works on them and not to, you know, especially like with the different skill level, I found that when I was beginning in makeup, if it was not obviously pigmented, I just couldn't see it. I couldn't build it up because of my brushes, because of my skill level, all of that. And so I like to make sure that if it works on me, I know whoever I give it to, they're going to be able to get it to work, you know? So for me, this is going to be a pass overall, but I do like the aesthetic and the vibes of them. And I think they would be easily, easily giftable products. So Nomad Cosmetics has now showcased their holiday palette and I understand, I'm with you. How are they now creating yet another palette? But you know, these things are in like production for so long and I'm sure stuff is still being pushed back for the brand. But either way, they have this nine pan um, and for me, but either way they have this nine pan and for me this nine pan ain't hitting it. It's not. I just picked up their holiday palette from last year which basically has these colors and more and I've been seeing some videos and it doesn't look like the quality in this palette's shimmers is where they have now brought their shimmer quality so there's no reason for me to even touch it I've just gotten back in love with this brand I do not want to be annoyed with purchasing something that has piss poor quality so I'm gonna personally skip I would highly recommend you going ahead and checking out the videos of those who are getting this NPR or who are choosing to pick this up but I am definitely not going to be picking up this one so a palette of course leaked from Natasha Denona and this is her retro glam palette and this is going to be in her $67 uh, pan size because she did increase her prices and I am intrigued I am very very intrigued apparently this is going to be looking very combination wise of the glam so it's going to be bringing those cool tones but she's also bringing the kind of warmer tones with the retro palette now I don't have either of those Medi palettes at all they weren't something that I was intrigued by at all and I think I also just didn't have the time or was interested in them. You know, I just didn't, I didn't get them. I didn't get them at all. And so I'm interested. And so I am intrigued. I think this would be interesting to bring into my Natasha Denona world. But I don't know if I'm going to be picking it up because I do still have her latest palette that released with the blush quad trio, whatever. Haven't touched it. So I don't know if I need this. I could definitely see me maybe picking it up during the December sales because I know I typically always shop her bundles. If there's a bundle that I actually don't have both palettes, then I generally pick it up because it's a really, really good deal. But yeah, not positive I'm going to be getting it now, but 90% going to be getting it, period. Lawless is also coming out with some products. It looks like these are available on QVC right now where you can get an eyeshadow palette for $27 and then lip plumping set for $27 as well. Um, not something for me. I think the palette looks cute, but not particularly something that I'm really, really invested in. And I don't particularly like lip plumpers. So easy, easy pass there. It looks like Spectrum Brushes has come out with a second round with Winnie the Pooh. I did get their first round bag. Absolutely love that bag. I love it. Love it so much. I've used that bag literally on every trip that I've taken since receiving it. And so I definitely would recommend it. This bag in the second collection looks definitely different it looks more like just a general makeup pouch whereas the one that I got you have the pouch on top but you also have the bottom zipper perfect for brushes so that's really why I picked up that particular bag everything else in this collection looks cute but nothing that I really really need so I'm gonna personally pass it looks like Fenty Beat Skin has come out with a new product and this is her niacinamide dark spot 
serum so this is new this is going to be available on the website on november 4th and i am very very intrigued i love a good niacinamide um and i have like slowly tested out certain things from fenty skin i'm not going to say the brand is like the best I'm not, but I'm also not going to say they're the worst. I think they're a good basic brand that if you just kind of want to get into skincare, but you have it, and if you want to support Rihanna and you're like, these prices aren't too bad, I definitely say check it out. If the prices are too bad for you though, check out Good Molecules. That is the brand that I would support um, and recommend. And I think they have a really good range overall. So yeah, I may pick this up. It just depends, um, but I'm definitely, definitely intrigued. MAC is doing a collaboration with Black Panther and I'm very, very excited about watching this movie. I don't know if I'm going to do in the theaters. I'm thinking me and my mom are actually going to go to a movie tomorrow. So I need to talk to her about that because we need to create plans, maybe buy the tickets ahead of time. So it's easier for us when we get there. But um, this is something that I think is going to really, really be highly targeted to people who want to buy makeup for merch. I have been really good and this is the one avenue that I've been good when it comes to my makeup purchases. I do not buy makeup as merch. It's just not something that I do. So I love this. I want to support it. The the highlighter may be something that they get me on. It's um, a very, very slight maybe. This is launching on November 1st, by the way. But I don't think it's going to get me. I think I just want to go ahead and just get me a nice cute black panther t-shirt good quality so that i can just have it for a good period of time um i don't think i'm gonna get anything but if anything gets me it's gonna be the highlighter everything else is an easy pass but that highlighter i could see me picking that up okay so we're rounding out we only have a couple more products left city color cosmetics has showcased that they have a grunge palette coming out and this looks intriguing this is a 14 dollar eyeshadow palette it is eight shades and it is currently available on their website and when they say grunge they mean grunge now they show different pictures with different exposure rates so i don't really know how dark or light it is but this looks like a really interesting combination of like the viseart dark mattes and like the viseart just normal mattes with some shimmers in there now now the shimmers aren't looking too cute they look like very basic shimmers nothing that's going to be nice and intriguing foiled anything like that um but i think this could be a very very solid palette for anybody who wants to bring in some color to their eyeshadow looks but they don't like bright colors i think this could be potentially solid i want to say i've heard a couple of youtubers saying that they actually don't mind the quality of this brand this is not something that i'm going to be picking up but hey if you're interested i would love to hear if you do pick it up it looks like jill stewart beauty has come out with their holiday collection and this is a midnight cherry collection and i'm not gonna lie i tab this because i have been enjoying cherry scented fragrances a lot lately i am almost done with my travel sample of my huda beauty uh perfume whatever it is and i also uh, i'll give you guys a sneak peek i did pick up the tom ford cherry scent during the beautylish gift card event and today i actually so i went to work um at my retail job and i actually sprayed my huda beauty on before and i forgot and i actually resprayed on my tom ford when i got home now I don't know how I feel. I haven't gotten my conclusive thoughts because I've only sprayed on my Tom Ford a couple of times. So I definitely need to give them both some more wear, but I absolutely love the Huda Beauty. I can tell you that. But anyways, this is a full on collection and it's very much tea party inspired themed. This looks very, very interesting. And this is like the aesthetic for somebody who's like an aesthetic girly okay that doesn't have a lot of makeup doesn't really need a lot of makeup but just likes the aesthetics now there is a body milk that is cherry scented this will be available november 1st i could see me picking up that body milk or just a body scented lotion that is cherry inspired in general because i 
really think that cherries are going to be a thing for me and I like to have a body uh, lotion or scent that has that same base note so that it can project and keep that longevity of that fragrance for longer so if I remember I could see me picking that up then but who knows if I'm going to remember, honestly. And then I think the last thing I have pinned already is that Give Beauty will be coming out with a double dip in two in one lip color remove abs hydrating lip mask. How can it remove your abs? What is happening? Anyways, it's supposed to be a lip balm and a treatment. Um, it's going to be available for $24 and it is available now. I think that this is smart of them to come out with this type of product, especially right now around the holidays. That said, I have quite a few lip products, whether it's a lip balm, a lip oil, or just a normal chapstick. And I'm pretty sure I have them in all purses currently. Now I do have a special something coming to me, so maybe... I'll need another product, but we'll cross that bridge once it gets to me. Okay, I don't see anything particularly noticeable that I missed. So we're going to call it a day right now. And in that vein, I think I'm going to be good and not pick anything else up this month. Or, well, the month is over. <laughs> But this um, week, I think I'm going to be really, really good and not pick anything up. I honestly need to really realign myself with my goals. Sometimes I find that I just get a little bit off track because life happens. But now I feel like to an extent, life is kind of slowing down just a wee bit. And I want to take this time to reorient myself to be prepared to conclude 2022 on the best possible step that I can. And so, yeah, I think that's where I'm at. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be picking anything up this week, but I would love to hear if there's anything that you're going to be picking up. If there's anything you wish to see from me, of course, feel free to comment down below. I get all of you guys' comments and I try my absolute best to respond to them in a timely manner if at all possible but yeah i will see you guys in my next video which actually will be tomorrow because tomorrow is halloween and so i will be uploading my conclusion to my uh graveyard project pan on halloween so i will be seeing you guys tomorrow and otherwise i don't know i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys